Karibu katika sehemu ya pili ya Boresha Kilimo ambapo tunaangazia upanzi wa viazi vitamu ukiwa na maswali hisia mapendekezo ama wewe ni mkulima na uko tayari tukuangazie hapa Boresha Kilimo usichelewe kusema nasi kwenye mitandao ya kijamii at KUTV Kenya nifikie mimi at Laban Shaban Reli Boresha Kilimo Viazi vitamu ni biashara nzuri ya kilimo kwa kuwa viazi vitamu ni zao la msimu na haliathiri hali ya hewa katika maeneo mengi ya nchi na hauhitaji usimamizi au ufuatiliaji mwingi. Sweet potato is all season crop. You can produce it throughout the year. Like we are saying here, it is a three, three to four months. And we know it is made up of 12 months. So the, uh, for sweet potato, it does not have issue. Like you have to eat for this period maybe to grow. It is a continued production. So for weather and everything, it do well in, 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 in most, part of the, most part of the country. And in feeding, the sweet potato, it pro, most of it you find, it provides its own food. So if you overfeed or you apply maybe vegetative fertilizer, you'll be affecting this, this plant. It will form the tuber, but you'll find that most of them may be zimekatika because you overfeed. Watering, you have to give it at optima. You don't have to overwater. So sweet potato is, a, is a, just a unique, is a unique plant. When you just plant it uh, in soil and in all those nini, it does not have a majority of the problem with, the, with the, maybe the weather or the condition. But it do in different parts of the, the country. Sweet potato, I'm saying, is just unique because when you, it's not just like a, a vegetable. It's not like the tomato. It's not like the, it's not like a, not like uh, uh, spinach or the, or the other stuff. For sweet potato, what you, what you do, it will smooth, it will smoother the weed. You know, we are saying it's just it will, it's a, it's a, it will spread for a bigger space. So you find that it has smoother all the weed. You're not supposed to be there to do the weeding, to do maybe the spray or those stuff. So it does not require a regular visit to the to the farm. So just maybe one day, one at one, one at a time, at a time, you just make a, it reduce the, the management. Viazi vitamu pia vina faida kwa mkulima ambapo baada ya kuvuna mkulima anaweza kutumia majani au sehemu iliyobaki kulisha wanyama kwani haijadhibitishwa kisayansi kuwa mwanadamu anaweza kula majani ya viazi vitamu About the the leaf maybe for consumption of the the leaf is not uh, most of the people are not aware but uh, more research is being done but the for us, most of them we feed the, the tuber part of it. For the leaf, most we, we feed it to animal. But for here in, 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 in Hosa, we are now using it as a propagation material. But we have another variety of sweet potato. Uh, it's called a, uh, it's a, it's a fodder. It is used as a fodder crop. It does not have tuber, but it gives it give you bigger leaves. And that you feed to, to animal. It's used as animal feeds. But for in terms of consumption, I've heard of maybe some people maybe using, but not that, not that much. Soko ni moja ya mambo ambayo mkulima anapaswa kuangalia kabla ya kujitosa katika shughuli yoyote ya kilimo. Kwani bila soko, mkulima atavuna viazi vitamu na kisha wanakosa soko. For sweet potato, we are selling to different part, uh, to different part of the country. So first we have done, we, we have prepared the seedling, we have planted them outside, we have proved they are doing very well. Then from there we have our Facebook page, that is Kaza Studio Transition, where we do advertise all this type of the, of the, the seedling. So any place the customer, he or she is, we are in a position to, to, to supply. And one other, another thing I said about the, the bulkness. This, this thing, it makes them unique. So a person can order maybe from a, any part of the country and this seeding will be delivered to you wherever you are. So the marketing, uh, maybe for those, now, those, are, those aware of it now, they can just call us, uh, through, they can visit our page. There's all the information there at the Hosa, Jquad, Facebook, Instagram, and also Twitter, and they can get the information. Kikundi hiki cha wanafunzi kinachukua hatua ya ziada katika kuwaelimisha wakulima njia hii mpya ya uenezaji wa viazi vitamu kwani ina ufanisi bei rahisi na ni rahisi kilinganishwa na njia ya zamani. Most of the people are not aware they are not aware about the this uh, they are not aware about the sweet potato seedling 
but now we are trying to use the social media at least to educate them to educate them about the about this you're also welcome to, to come here you already find, you find us here and we educate you the planting the management and anything related with the sweet potato as well the other seed propagation and also management viazi vitamu chukua miezi miwili hadi minne kulingana na aina unayopanda zinapokomaa ardhi upasuka na hii ni dalili tosha kwa mkulima kuwa viazi vitamu vimekomaa for sweet potato after a period here especially this one for single node we said is a 3 to 4 month they are ready for harvesting i'll be showing you outside on how to harvest you first just remove the soil just allow the, the sweet potato and one one indication of the sweet potato that is ready for harvesting you'll find the the ground has crack uh, you found the the ground has crack indicating your sweet potato is just ready for for harvest so you just remove the the, the outer the the outer soil or the outer cover of the soil then you position to get the sweet potato but you don't remove the, the whole part because you find there's some root still having a, a small sweet potato other are big so just pick the, the bigger one and also cover the smaller one there will be continuation of production but maybe throw the throw the year you're not supposed to maybe 20 minutes the, the whole the whole the whole sweet potato but you continue harvesting for a long period of time Mlipuko wa virusi vya corona ni moja wapo ya vikwazo vikuu katika ukulima katika msimu huu. Kwani wakulima wanapata vizuizi vingi huku ikiwabidi wakulima kupunguza wafanyakazi lakini pia kuna uzuri wake. Corona kuna sasa yale mashariti yanawekwa. Na unajua yale mashariti yakuwekwa labda inazuia watu kutembea na unajua yao pia na adhiri kwa maana inamaanisha kama hata ni zile wakati wa kufanya kazi na kupungua ukulima wao ni kama ile tunaita 24/7 ukulima <laughs> kilimo uweze kufanya usema tu umefunga sasa umeenda kama ni holiday ama ni usiku umeenda kulala mara nyingi mkulima mimea yako inakuhitaji kila wakati na zingine unaweza ataka kuziona wakati wote unajua ukiwa na hiyo vizuizi ya kusafiri E, ama unahitaji sema pembejeo ambayo unahitaji unajua pia hiyo mambo ya corona imeharibu ime unajua pembejeo nyingi azitengenezwe Kenya natoka nje so kukiwa na sema kufungwa safari za kutoka nje mara nyingi pia zina zina affect na adhiri sema kupata zile pembejeo alafu watu wakigonjeka wengine labda ndio wanastahili kwa wana wanahudumia mimea katika kilimo kwa hiyo pia hiyo inakuwa ni negative. Kwa hiyo more ni indirect, kuna indirect effect. Kini uzuri ni kwamba ukiangalia hata maagizo upande wa corona jambo moja ambayo watu wanahimizwa ni kula vyakula. Kula vyakula ambavyo vina tuseme vinasaidia mwili. Sasa unaona hapo inamaanisha kwamba ina create demand kwa ile chakula kwa upande wetu. Kwa hiyo inamaanisha ikiwa kio umetoa sema vya kula aina fulani e, soko inaweza kuwa ni rahisi kupata e, kwa sababu watu wanahimizwa wale chakula ambacho kinaweza kuwasaidia e, ku, kuweza kukabiliana na ule ugonjwa kwa biashara ya kilimo mkulima hukumbana na changamoto kadhaa ikiwemo wadudu magonjwa na pia soko shida shida ambayo wanafikiri watu tuko nayo kwa kilimo ni mambo ya soko nafikiri kitu tunaweza sema labda ni kitu tunaweza sema transparency haipo kwa maana unaweza kuwa na mimea hapa hivi lakini soko kuna watu ambao wanahitaji lakini hiyo information kupata ni ngumu eh unaweza pata labda wewe una nyanya zako hapo hivi umeshindwa kuna soko na watu wengine kule wanauza nyanya moja labda wananunua nyanya moja na shilingi hata 20 kwa sababu kuna shida na hiyo information flow kwa sababu ikiwa ungejua e, kuna soko mahali fulani na kuwe na ile infrastructure na kuwezesha kufikisha hizo nyanya nafikiri haingekuwa shida nyingi e, nafikiri hata ukiongea na hawa jana shida moja watakwambia ni soko hata hii, hii miche sana sana unaweza pata wana miche iko tayari na tagana kupandwa lakini haupati soko na kwa hivyo hiyo ndio sana sana nafikiri huwa ina kidogo wa ina, ina, inafanya wakulima wanakufa moyo e, na sana sana vijana kwa sababu vijana kama wengine unajua pia wanataka tu kwa mwala wa IT 
he akitoka akifanya kitu kidogo next thing akao anaendesha gari pia wao wanataka kuwa hivyo kile sasa ikiwa ile kazi amejaribu kufanya soko haijapatikana haizi kupata pesa sasa unaona hiyo ina kidogo ina ina ina, ina, ina motisha inatoka e, lakini kama ing, nafikiri hata tuseme kama e, soko ingekuwa nzuri sana sana sio soko ya haswa lakini hiyo mambo ya information information ni rahisi infrastructure ni rahisi ili ikiwa una una mazao fulani ni rahisi kufikisha sokoni ni rahisi kujua ni wapi bei iko nzuri kila kilicho na mwanzo kina mwisho tumefika tamati ya kipindi cha leo boresha kilimo hadi Jumamosi ijayo saa sita unusu kwa mitindo mingine ya kilimo nimekuwa nahodha wako Laban Shaban wasalam